It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1903, recorded Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. Doodle your canoodle. This episode of the Giz with Dicky D has the final three gadgets from Day of Play. I have my last gadget from the leftover crappy corner. We have a great letter and a viewer video all next on the Giz with. It's the same show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz with because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs. Going blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here is our gadget commander, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I am doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing very good. Uh, you know, is that a different color can of Coke? It is. Or is it just... It's a very weird... You know, you start... It, if you're a diet soda connoisseur like me, you start to learn... All the different things, you know, you got your Diet Cokes, you got your Coke Zeros, but then you have the flavored version. So you got your Cherry Diet Coke, your Cherry Coke Zero, and you also have the versions that are caffeine free. So they have to have a different color for all of those. Oh my God. So this what is that one? can happens to be a Coke Chicken Zero fat. Cherry. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. You see a new. <laughs> And the store never has them all in stock. So you'll be walking through the aisles and go, oh, today, oh what a surprise. I can get <laughs> Coke Zero with cherry or Coke Zero vanilla cherry. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Is Coke, there such a thing? Yes, that is another thing. Coke Zero wow. vanilla cherry caffeine free. Holy moly. Oh. Um, well, you've never shopped in a New York City uh, supermarket. <laughs> like cereal is like three things. <laughs> you know? I've seen a 7-Eleven. <laughs> yes, what I yes, assume. Ex exactly. Exactly. So uh, the publisher of Mad uh, and, and I and Dennis and his wife, once about every six weeks, we would drive to New Jersey to huge supermarkets. And it was like the opposite. It was like mind numbing, you know, <laughs> the cereal thing. You'd have to be, be there you know, for an hour just reading oh, labels yes. and finding out. Wait, what is it? What oh is my... They have extra flavors. They have, yeah. they have normal Wheaties and mini Wheaties. What is this? Yes. And mini Wheaties with vanilla Coke in it. Yeah. And, uh, exactly. The thing that annoys me about the bottles of Coke is that uh, Diet Coca-Cola Cherry, it's the same label with a tiny little yes. word. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't I, like I, those I, e either. Is yeah. And sometimes, you know, I'll be looking, and I'll, that happens a lot with the zero sugar thing, is it'll look exactly the same, yes. but there will be a little bar uh, that says zero sugar. Um, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coke now in four thousand flavors. Exactly, um, and they do they do limited edition flavors. Right now, I think there's um, oh gosh, what is it? Dreamscape or something like that. And they had Stardust, and then they have diet versions of those flavors. Wow. Um, yeah, no, there's it's kind of crazy with the Coca Cola. I mean, Coca Cola has always kind of been known. I remember at CES one year they were doing Coca Cola Energy, and then like Coca Cola f f Coffee. They had a coffee brand. Wow. It was weird. Um, we I went also... to the Coca-Cola uh, thing in Atlanta where maybe they have these elsewhere. It's, it's their headquarters. And they have 30 kinds of Coke. And then yeah. they have make your own kind of Coke. You oh. can just <laughs> mix it. Just run, a, run to all the machines and just make what you want. <laughs> And here's this coffee thing. I remember this being. Oh weird. my word! Um, oh, yeah. it's. <laughs> oh, and there's five flavors of the. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, oh look, and there's the vanilla oh. zero sugar version. Yeah. Oh, this wow. one's new. Apparently, they're still doing it. Mocha's and fresh and new. Okay, they got Coca Cola zero sugar flavors. Wow. 
creations, this is what I was talking about with the weird stuff, with coffee, all probably, they got rid of their um, energy drink uh, brand, I guess. Oh, Here's okay. a Dream World. Dream World is the latest <sighs> flavor. Tastes uh, like Coke. Finishes like a mirrored ball. <laughs> Did you read that? <laughs> is that real? Is that, no, is no, no, no. <laughs> that would not be. That would not be very advertising, would it? But Star. I remember Starlight oh, came out, and it. They never told you the flavor. They never did. Uh, Starlight. But with a familiar great Coke taste, discover the infinite possibilities. New world of Coke World Starlet is gone. It's like they never told you what it tastes like. I it's think space. that's when they Oh, it's space flavored. Mixed. I remember. It literally says oh, space. <laughs> space oh, it flavored. tastes like the planet that we oh. just saw. <laughs> Spaceman will have to uh, tell us. Oh, about my that. word. So this marshmallow one is uh, the artist, the, the musician marshmallow. Oh, 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 okay. okay. Um, and they have the zero sugar version of that as well. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, nutrition facts. It just says, says nothing. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing to see here. There's, there's, oh, there is nothing to see. There's a little bit of sodium. Just a tiny amount of sodium. Yeah. That's so funny. What is this one down here? I missed, well, uh, zero sugar bite. Oh, it's sold out. This must have been an old one. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> so, to answer your question in the most long-winded way possible, zero sugar cherry is the Coke. Oh, flavor. okay. Okay. Um, anything new with you over this last Boy, week? No. No, I just had a quick question. Uh, yeah. On return time on Amazon, I couldn't find the box that it came in, and I yeah. thought... Uh, Will they take it back if you don't have the box it came in? Anybody anybody return something that didn't have the box? And you're not talking about the Amazon cardboard box. You're talking no, about the No, I'm talking about the, yeah, the packaging that it came. I finally found it because uh, it was a, a $55 item, and I did not want to have it rejected. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I not knew sure. that I would not throw the box out, but it came in a zippered case, and I thought, well, would the zippered case with everything in it be enough? Uh, no one's had that. I'm, I'm not sure. And, and so, I you know, on, sometimes on... you can at like you know normal stores. Like if I went to Best Buy and I wanted to return something, sometimes I don't need the original box. Yeah. No, I looked online yeah. and it said uh, we examine everything carefully, and it should be exactly as it arrived from Amazon with all the cables and. Hmm. But when I see those big pallets that they sell, yeah. I think, do they really yeah. sit down and examine these things? Anyway. Hmm. I don't um, know the answer to that. I, I, it may depend on the product, too. Because, like, I've gotten, like, T-shirts, and they come in a, you know, a poly bag. And I throw yes. that thing away as fast as possible. You know, I'm not going to... And then I return it because it's not the right size. It doesn't have the poly bag. Um... So, I'm not sure. Kohl's does have the Amazon return counter, and that's I yeah. use that. Yeah, and as, and Scooter X has never ever returned anything. Well, wait a minute, Scooter X, have you ever bought anything on Amazon? <laughs> Maybe we should ask that first. <laughs> I didn't return anyway. stuff for a long time because I thought it was going to be too big of a hassle. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, you know. It's like you have to. What's the process like? Do I have to call someone and explain? Uh, but after doing it a few times, it's all online. You just fill oh, out a it's, great. Form. it's great! It's great. And it. twice I had the uh, the none return get a refund policy. Have oh, yeah, you had yeah. that happen? Yeah, yeah. It's usually on items that cost like four dollars. They figure they're right. gonna cost us more to take this back. Right. It really will. Yeah. Yes. And I do. And I specifically do that all the time with clothing. Is <laughs> I don't know if this is medium, large, extra large. You know, I don't know what's going to fit. So I buy all three yeah. of them and then return the ones that don't Oh, work. that's good. That's yeah. good. Yes, and Ranger Rick, there is going to be two prime days this month. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Scooter Rick says, I buy many things. Oh, in October, I mean. Um, that's crazy. Two oh. prime days. Mm. 
Uh, anyway, should okay. we? Oh, do, do you have anything exciting? Okay, nothing. No, either. not okay. really. And the only, uh, I, the, the only thing exciting happening in my life is this Saturday. Is I'll be running my first 5K marathon, which isn't that far, but um, it'll be my first. How much is that in miles? 3.2 miles. So running for 3.2 uh, miles. Um, it's the kind do of the it, small, uh, the literal, yeah. like normally when you do a mar a, or a run, a, a marathon is a separate, right. you know, distance. Uh, whenever you do one of these running together with people, it's the smallest possible is one mile. And they normally call those just fun runs. Like, ah, eh, you just run for a mile. Uh, and then um, 5K, right. 10K, 10 miler, half marathon, marathon. So this is really small. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I would tell people in feet. The next time it's, yes, how, um, man, what would that be? Oh, that yeah. would be impressive. Um, yeah, it's like a, oh yeah, Chad's in a 5,500 foot race. <laughs> it uh, just sounds like a lot of people. Uh, it's inches, I need kilometer, and I need five of them. That's uh, 16,000 feet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow, a 16,000 foot race. It's a 16,000 foot race. It's gonna be crowded. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the only thing. And, uh, hmm. yeah, good times. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, all right, so it's Day of Play. It's a big uh, uh, party event, and we had something new from Three Doodla. But if you don't know what Three Doodla is, I thought we'd show the first uh, minute and 15 seconds of this video from 2019 when there was a mid-year CES. So oh. here's the video from that. CE Week 2019, we're at 3 Doodla, or 3D Oodla, okay? One D. <laughs> one D. That's just one D, I know. It's three Doodla. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to learn about a new way to make 3D whatever you want, okay? Like this. See, I just built this on my wristwatch. <laughs> okay. No. So Max this is going to... a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> Oh, what is, oh, this, this is a thing. This is a thing. This is the beginnings of a prosthetic that we're trying to work on to make uh, really cheap prosthetics uh, that are less than $100 by hand making them, essentially. So you made it with one of these pens? So our, we have 3D pens. We invented 3D pens back in 2013. It's called the 3 Doodler Create Plus. You put filament or plastic in the back. It comes out the front, and the material hardens in seconds. So you're able to quite literally draw on the air. So I'll extrude some filament here. And it's quite hot on this pen, but we have a non-hot pen. And then two to three seconds later, you can see that the material is actually hardening in the air. And it's oh yeah. All right. So now we've seen this for years, but okay, I got a press so release go out there that so you now, can draw. In case you never saw a doodle a pen, and they're introducing a huge kit at oh. this uh, uh, play day, and this is it. It's been a while since we've been at 3D Doodla, and we're going to take care of that right now and find out what's new. Is that new? This is new. So this is a 3 Doodler Maker Bundle. Oh, the Maker Bundle. Yes. This is the Start Plus version, which is what you see here, which is safe for kids that are 6 to 13 years old. Okay. If you can see it, you can make it. If you can think it, you can make oh, it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, a castle. I mean, we've made a fire truck here. Oh, that's great. Yes. We have also have an upcycling project here, which uses cardboard that we've reinforced with our 3D pen. Oh, that's so clever. Make something for rubble. Here, we've done some artwork, making a pineapple that we're going to hang on the wall later. Or you could make a flower. That is great. Oh, that is great. So it's kind of like arts and crafts meets tech. And, and STEM. And, and what is that going to retail for? This is fifty nine ninety nine. And out now or coming? October. October. It'll be coming in October. Okay, show the box again. Yes. This oh, is the okay. Three Doodler Start Plus Maker Bundle. Uh, I think that's really neat. And kids as young as six? Six years old six and years up. Old, yeah. mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm too old. There's no top. There's, There's no, no top. top. There's no top. I'm going to, plus. when the camera goes off, I'm taking this, right. I'm making myself hair. 
So the next time you see me, I'll be 3D doodles. We're here at the time to play, not a holiday of play, finding fun stuff. That is so cool. Uh, that is neat. And I have a, a cute one-minute commercial with asking kids what they would make. Okay, here we go. I, uh, where did that commercial go? Um, uh, I remember seeing that in... The... Here. Uh, no. Okay, one second. I'm going to have to go grab that. Um, okay. Or it might be right on their website if you have that. Maybe. Here we go. Uh... I think I grabbed it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Build a robot. Solve a problem. Wow. I like you could make something and then my own actually style. use it. Yeah. Explore the world. Land on Mars. Chase a dream. Robo, dino, fire, breathing, laser, cat. <laughs> That is so funny. I, I can't believe that they've made one that will mint, melt the plastic. Yeah, yes, and, and not be hot. How could yeah. that be? How does that work? What is that technology? Yeah, there? they actually make three pens now. Um, there was another link there if you caught that one uh, to their website. Yeah. So they make the cool one, ages 6 to 13. And then I don't know, what's that, medium hot? <laughs> the one yes. that's 14 and up. Let's see. What and then I guess the red hot for the pros, uh, I, I don't get it either. That's so interesting. Um, so it has two speeds. Um, oh, 10 speeds two, to the pro. Yeah. And then two temperatures, seven temperatures for the pro. I'm trying to see if it mentions where it gets up to, but I guess not. So one thing is it may need to use its own plastic. So I am seeing yeah. <clears throat> down here. Yes, I see that too. Ecoplastic, where the other filament is ABS, PLA. Uh, these are filaments that you can buy really anywhere. Um, I wonder if Oh, this, okay. Like I have some, uh, uh, I have both uh, ABS and PLA. Uh, for my 3D printing stuff. So if you're already in the 3D printing, then you can just use the filament you already have. Not sure what ecoplastic no, is. And, and, and notice the other, the two higher end ones can't even use ecoplastic, uh, ecoplastic right, or ecoplastic. Right. So yeah. that might be its secret sauce on how it can um, make it cold or cool-ish when it uh, yeah, comes out. Yeah, exactly. But that is a, um, is, it, is this the starter kit? You get everything? No, you know what? I could not even find it on their website. Uh, it's oh. called Three Doodless Start Plus Maker Bundle. Maker Bundle. And they don't even show it. Um, I did a web search and I just found it once mentioned in a trade magazine and that was it. Huh. Well, even so, this uh, this pack that they currently have not bad. 60 bucks. No. You get the a whole bunch of filaments. You get the pen. You get a few projects, it looks like. That seems really neat. Yeah, I think I, so, too. I think too. the price is very reasonable for yep. all, of, all of that stuff. Um, it seems very reasonable. And, you know, you may have seen it, too. There was a while, I don't see it mentioned anymore, where they you could bring up little plans on your cell phone. Oh. And and then with the, with the pen that doesn't get hot, you could actually trace the plans right on your screen. Oh, interesting. And then make a... I'm looking um, at their app right now. It doesn't seem like that's doesn't, yeah, maybe. featured... In the app, I wonder if they 
decided too I many have... things were getting destroyed. <laughs> yes. Uh, Kids were ruining their dad's. Uh, right, right. Give me uh, the iPad Pro. I want to make some stuff. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's very funny. Um, anyway, so I, I mean that that company's been going a long time now. I think they started in twenty third, almost yeah, coming up to ten years. Yeah, that's crazy. I that's know. Crazy. And um, I'll be honest, the first time I saw it. Yes, they me too. Make it. <laughs> me too. I think we probably saw it together. I thought, now who's gonna? Why would Why would you ever? Who's do that? gonna make a thing in the air? And anyway, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh yeah, no, they're not. They're not gonna make it. Um, and, and they sell kits by the dozen because schools buy them. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a cool school project type thing. Um, Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, three Doodler, still kicking. That's awesome. Still kicking. Uh, okay, something fun for young kids. When we were kids, we would kill for these things. Uh, here we go. We're at Holiday of Play, and we're at role play. You know, not role play like acting. We're at role play like at wheels, is that right? Roll on wheels, that's <laughs> Roll correct. On, okay, yeah. and I didn't even ask your name. Oh, Sharon. Sharon, yes. Okay. Sharon's going to show us their newest products. Yep. So coming out this year, we have two new big ones. This is the Flex Car XL pedal. This is a go kart design, and it's pedal powered, so kids can go as fast as they want. This is for kids five and up. Five and up. Okay. Yep. So this, would, this would be more suitable. It has an adjustable seat; they can go back and forth, but for kids like five to eight. And what's now, really, now I see where can I, I, show, can can I show you something? Yeah, yeah please do. You. So what's cool about Flex, we call it fold and expand. So if you want to put it in the car, you can just do this and it pops. So these are compact folding go -karts. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, and we have a whole line of them. So this is a pedaled one, then we have an electric one, and so this is our Flex segment. And you can pop it open pretty easily, too. So you can just do this. Reach under there and pop it back up. Oh, great. Yeah. And what does that retail for? This retails for one fifty nine. Boy, that yeah. sounds excellent. Excellent. And that's out now? This is, will be out in a few weeks. In a few weeks. Yep, so okay. This is fall. Role play yep. and what's it called? Uh, the Flex Cart XL Pedal. The Flex Cart XL Pedal, okay. And you have another new game. Yes, we have a Nighthawk. So Nighthawk is actually our best selling product. But we just launched the Nighthawk Bolt which is for kids starting as young as four years old. So our original <laughs> Nighthawk is for six. So now this is more suitable for the size of a kid in that four to six age segment. And what's cool about Nighthawk is it has carving wheels. So they lean onto the wheels and they can do swooping turns. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's... So I can show you this one. You can just press down and it'll, so kids play that way. <laughs> yeah. And they lean to turn. So that's how they steer it. Do you have video of kids doing that on your We website? do, yeah, oh, okay. tons of it, yeah. Okay. And it's, it's, oh, this is a 12-volt electric vehicle, so it's got a pedal accelerator in the front. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So how much power do you get? How many hours or minutes do you get out of the uh, Usually battery? our Nighthawks are 90 minutes of runtime. 90 yeah. minutes? That's great. And, and the battery's in there, and how do you recharge the battery? The, you open the seat, so it's pretty easy. You can just pop it open and then plug in the charger directly into the battery. Yeah. Perfect. And Perfect. I think I, I think I was mistaken. This one, I apologize. This one is 159. I believe this one is in the 179. I have to check my sheet. Okay. Closer to okay. 179 for this one. Yep. Uh, either way, yep. I think it's great. Yeah, that, great. That's super role play, boy. If that is cool. Cool. And stuff. they have a little 30 second video of kids using that Nighthawk thing. That that is really yeah. great fun um here it is there it is right there yeah oh if it'll if it'll play here we go meet the nighthawk from roleplay shred the pavement with blazing 12 volt speed lean into tight turns with amazing control nighthawk an from roleplay wheel, for the ride of your life adult supervision required <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh adult supervision required. yes um very cool stuff. Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. Yeah, I when it, she was like, "Oh yeah, by the way, this is uh, uh, um, powered." I was like, "What? You're kidding me!" Like, yeah, you get a motor on that volts. thing. 
Oh, my gosh. Volts. And young as five, I think she said. Yeah. Now, so I wonder if the, the, the younger one isn't out yet, because this is six. She had mentioned the Bolt was younger, uh, and I don't see that one yet. Uh, my, it might not be. She said in oh. a few weeks. But they make so nice cool. stuff, this company. Yeah. Yeah. ton of stuff. Did not realize there was... Ooh, so I can, many oh, things. I can get a train. Yeah, look at that. Which one? Steam train. Here we go. Check that out. It comes with track? Oh, Holy moly. 22 pieces of track. That oh, is my word. the coolest thing. That, that feels like neat. that should be at a daycare, not a, a person's home. <laughs> like, that is just too neat. And, um, and so, yeah, this... Uh, mm -hmm. Now, we had, as a kid, we had these really yeah. weird devices. You would sit on it, and then you would twist the handles, and th somehow that motion would cause the thing to go forward. Um, with no power. No, with no, no, no power. Motor. No. I don't know what you would... <laughs> Did you have even to be on the hill? For. <laughs> no, no, no. You could just do it. It was like... It's almost like a swing set where you just, you know, you move your legs and then you get the force going. Um, I don't know what you would call that. Um, Pack and Debbie says, I remember those. Yeah. Um, uh, it looks like Ma, uh, like uh, Ma's worm remembers it too. Anybody remember what they were called? <laughs> yeah, great for going down a steep hill. <laughs> that was my thought. There, um, I found it. The Deluxe Roller Racer. Oh, my gosh. It's expensive. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> I can't tell if it's expensive because no one makes these things anymore. Or you sit on that and you twist it. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, oh it's Chad. No oh, look at No the, batteries. No batteries. Well, it's certainly it's less fun. dramatic. Right. I think we, they gave them to us in PE. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because, okay. Because, it, I, you know, build strength. I think that was the strong, you know, you you, uh, you pull either side. The flying turtle. Turtle. It's oh the turtle word. racer, says Scooter X. That is oh so funny. The oh, my turtle. gosh. There you go. That's expensive though, 129. Uh, pff, it's crazy expensive. It, it must yeah, have been because I think those motorized things are 149. They're or way something. cheaper, way better. <laughs> I, this, yeah. Here, let's look. Uh, this is the uh, role play. How oh, 119, <laughs> and it's 12 <laughs> volts. How? That's crazy. I really do wonder if they had marked... I, I only remember seeing these at school, now that I think about it. You know, it, it might have been. It may, it may have been the Chromebook of the day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get that. It's very funny. This is a ad for the Turtle, whatever it was called, Turtle Racer, uh, from 1987. Oh, well -o. Mosworn said they're from Whammo. Oh. Don't know how it does it. How's it do it? How's it go? Roller racers got me. You just sit down and swing. No motor and no batteries, but something really moves that thing. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> I don't get it, but I got it. Roller racer got to me. Roller racer sit skate. Your parents put it together easily. From Whammo. <laughs> oh. From Whammo. That's crazy. That I love how these fun. kids are just How's it go? going right next to that busy road. And yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is a, I don't know, it, is a, <laughs> it kind of seems old school. I Maybe it's just the commercial. Um, anyway, we are so distracted. Uh, this is all really cool stuff from Roleplay. Yeah. Um, Really, really cool stuff. Wow, that is. I think that might be. That that that's actually kind of handsome looking, and yeah, that is crazy. powered, right? Yeah, yeah, five, five miles. miles an hour. Yeah, electric. 
It doesn't say the price. I'm not sure why. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Uh, it looked oh. like. Shit. Oh, what? oh, expert. Oh, they just <laughs> just ninety nine dollars to assemble it. But yeah. how much does it buy? Let's it? include it. Where's the price? Am I crazy? I'm gonna refresh this page. Oh, you know, uh, is it? I add it to my cart. How much does it cost? I don't have. Oh my gosh, I don't want to sign in right now. No. Um. Oh, see price in oh. cart. Oh, apparently. Oh, I'm, okay. Oh, you can't. Okay. I'm not allowed. I have to. No. Okay. Okay. Sign in. It might be one of those things where it's cheap. They ish. told yeah. competitors that exactly. they wouldn't sell it cheaper than they would sell it in a store. Mm. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty neat stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Very very cool. Role play. That's a good a company to keep my play. eye on. That's neat. And our final guy from the show, I actually covered here, and you'll see why. Uh, here's the video. At the show, there was a crowd around this table where they were showing Canoodle. Ooh. And we didn't have to wait because they handed me a Canoodle. Okay, this is it. And I knew nothing about Canoodle, and I thought I'd give a quick look to make sure it's popular before I do it. Okay, so I looked on Google. Is it popular? 17,551 ratings. And I looked earlier, 79% of them are five stars. Wow. Okay, so this is a game that's out now, obviously. So Canoodle is kind of like Tetris. A Tetris Frozen, okay? Now, all the beads, I thought the, all the beads were separate, but they're not. They're, some of them are connected. I'll show you in a minute. But why, why I left them like this is I dumped everything out, and I quickly threw everything back in. And look, everything, everything fit. Except for this. <laughs> okay. Um, now, if I had a scissors... I could make this fit, okay? Because let's see, this is one, two, three, five beads. Yeah, you got five one, spaces. Two, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right, so let me spill it out because I, when I first saw the game, I thought they were all individual. But if you're a fan of Tetris, which I am, it's kind of like uh, Tetris, frozen Tetris. You know, the pieces aren't dropping. But, and it's kind of strange because it says 200 puzzles. And from looking at this little book, it seems if young kids are playing for the first time, you set the board up partially and then they only have to solve part of the puzzle. And I, I don't know how they get 200 games out of it, but they do. <laughs> And then, but wait, there's more. This is 2D Tetris, okay? You flip the board over, and, whoa, you play 3D. Oh, and it's not called Tetris. I, I mean, sorry, copyright people. Canoodle. Canoodle. <laughs> All right? So... You know, I almost have something going here. Actually, it's kind of fun. I like this already. Um, but you then build it on up so it doesn't come crashing down. I mean, I'm but building I, this. I assume no they LEDs. want pieces underneath. No, no LEDs. <laughs> They'd be yeah, very picky about right. that. Um, but I think this is kind of fun. Now, I do see... A bugaboo about this game that, you know, it looks like, isn't, it's like, doesn't this look like a, a nice little travel kit? Can anybody in the chat room, Scooter X, okay, nice little travel kit, but one big problem with it, and, uh, Chad? Uh, <laughs> um, wow. and I don't know why it dawned, oh, it dawned on me when I was putting the pieces in. How can you travel with it? You have to solve the puzzle. All right? You have to know 
where every piece goes. Uh, let's see. Guess you're, you I won't will leave. See my luck. Until you solve it. You can throw them in a yeah. Ziploc bag. I, I, you know, I, I, right. When yeah, I put it away, right. I have one puzzle uh, piece on top with I a rubber it might band. Be one of those things where suddenly, <laughs> look at it, it's just like, it's like going together like, ma oh, look at this. Go oh, my God. Oh, I am going to solve it. That goes there. I think there's I a sticker on the top that down. has the six. Oh, you know. Uh, this is going to go. Oh, you know what? Nowhere. You could, you know, I, it there. keeps referring oh, to letters. It's Where are the letters? I got to cut one piece off that. <laughs> and then I have to cut two pieces off. And then <laughs> I, I don't know why they have you know, they should give scissors letters on everything because. <laughs> it should come with a pair of scissors. Oh, I'm doing 3D. There you go. All right. So you have to get them all in there uh, for the box to close. I think it's it's great fun, and evidently so do so do people who are buying it. Oh, and it's inexpensive, fourteen bucks. Okay, canoodle, and there seem to be a lot of. It seems that there is an oodle of canoodles, but this is the newest, <laughs> the one with two hundred new. You know, I don't know how you get two hundred new puzzles out of this many pieces, but that's it, canoodle. Okie dokie. Bring a scissors. <laughs> and a poodle. And a poodle. <laughs> a poodle for your canoodle. You're in a doodle. You know um, what? Maybe sure. those letters are the beginning of the of the color. Of the solution or the color? See, I'm looking at the Amazon page. I see what you're talking about. On this image, there's all these, like, I, F, L. Yeah, so I is not, I mean, you think it would be Y for yellow. Is it imprinted on the no. canoodle? No. It's not, it's just uh, I, smooth. I, I don't get it either. Here are some of the pieces. There's no printing anywhere. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, I was astounded. What was it? 77,000 people? Or yeah. 75? Uh, 17,000 people. Right oh, there. Here. Okay. Yeah. Let's watch this video. Let's see. What? what... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea. 200 puzzles. So that one will make a pyramid. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the one you turn the box upside down. And then... Shake things up. Oh! You, saw you put something? one piece in, and then you got to solve how to make it work. Wait, you can, when you put one piece in and shake it, it moves around? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's not locked in place? Question Let mark? me, uh, hang on, hang on. I'm putting in one piece. Yeah, here, here. Uh. Uh, okay, and it's sort of in the middle. Sort of in the middle. I'm closing it, and... Shake! Oh! Is it moving? Yeah. Yeah. It moved! Well, it's not in there. So it does move around. Yeah. So I guess it gives you one solution on the lid, but if you shake it, there's a whole bunch of other things, and I guess that's what that little yeah. book that we saw was. Yes. And you're right. I guess the thing on the lid is how to pack it up quick. Yeah. If you're traveling, that was good. Who uh, whoever saw that was that you, Chad? Who saw that? I that think on so. The lid? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, uh, yeah. a few people saw it. Pack and W saw it in the chat. And, yeah. And, uh, and stuff. Because I was going to say, uh, otherwise, you really have to spend two hours solving a puzzle before the <laughs> lid will close. Yeah. And it's interesting that this few pieces can make. 200 combinations. Yeah. And there's a ton if, of them. I wonder if there's stuff that's like unsolvable, you know, like, uh oh, this one you can't <clears throat> fit it all in there if it's in a certain way. Yeah, sure. if you mean you could throw one of the pieces out <laughs> and put, put three M&Ms in there. That is so funny. Yeah. I'm they, addicted they did to it. it. Yeah. Huh. It's kind of fascinating. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that it's uh, limitless in a way. You know, you, you just stick a piece in there, shake it up, and then... Um, take it from there, yeah. Yeah, take it from there. Okay, here are the instructional uh, a book. So, oh, I think you need this key. Here are the noodles. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L. Oh. Every, canoodle Every canoodle puzzle noodle. uses 12 of the noodles. Each noodle is unique in des designating the letter. Designated with a letter. I guess you, you have, to, you 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 have to look at the chart. Yeah. 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 Huh. That's there's, there's a lot of stuff in there. I, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's and really if you don't have the new book, you don't have the new puzzles. No, no. They're going to make another one with just an expanded row. 300 puzzles. Yeah. Just exponentially oh, more puzzles. Right. And, and a little cool. clip on thing that you clip onto the end of the box so that right. the, expansion little, pack. Expansion pack, right? Exactly. Uh, it's only fourteen dollars, so yeah, uh, no, it's, it's kind of neat. Kinda yeah. Kind of so now you know why there was a lot of people around the booth. Evidently, a lot of people <laughs> like to play this. They were all scratching their heads. Is uh, was going on? <laughs> okay. Well, with that, I think it is time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for oh, chat. So quiet. Chat. Chat. Crappy corner. Get it. Okay, dokey. Uh, the last of the leftover gadgets. I recorded a video, so let's take a look. Hey, diggity. So we are at it with the last of the leftover gadgets for the crappy corner. And today we have this. What is it? It's kind of a what the heck is it? There's really no... Uh, Indication. Oh, well, there is an indication. I see it now on the front. But what the heck could this be if I cover Pencil up shopping. what it <laughs> is? Um, well, this is a toothpaste dispenser. So, how it is supposed to work. Uh, I believe that this is from, um, I'm not sure what theme this one, one was for. for. Uh, but the idea is that you can leave your toothpaste in this. Also, you can attach it to your mirror. And then you can just take your toothbrush, push it in, and it will dispense toothpaste onto your toothbrush for you. So, I guess there's a little, uh, lever action sort of thing going on in there. Not really sure how this all works. Uh, let's see. Are there any instructions... Okay, looks like there are some instructions. It looks like uh, I clean the glass, I peel it off, I stick it on, I let it wait 12 minutes. We're not gonna do that. Put in, fixed in toothpaste. I squeeze the toothpaste out of the air. So I squeeze the air out of the toothpaste. And then I can put in release, push the cover three to five times for the first use. Okay. I'm really not sure how this is going to get toothpaste. So the toothpaste out of the tooth stays out. Like, in How is it going to squeeze yes. this? How is this, how is this action going to happen? Not sure. Uh, let's head to uh, the bathroom. I'm going to stick this on the mirror and we can test it out. Okie dokie. So we're going to put it on the mirror. This tape reminds me an awful lot of alien tape. Uh oh. Hope it doesn't. <laughs> fail uh, like Alien taped it. So we're gonna just stick this there on the mirror. Then we're gonna take our toothpaste and I'm going to try to use some centrifugal force to get it all down to the bottom. And hopefully I'll be able to squeeze out the air like it wanted. There we go. Now I'll take this and it's the top is is there's no threads or anything on there, so it's a I'm silicone just stick it thing right inside. Looks like it's in there. How the okay. heck is that gonna work? Now it can <laughs> say that we need to do this a few times. 
in the beginning. How on earth does this work? How I could don't it know. possibly work? Four, five, I've lost count. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> no toothpaste yet. Did it say? Well, let's try to squeeze How can it out of here. Is this just gonna fall out of my? Okay, we're squeezing. I'm squeezing. I feel like I'm squeezing way too hard. This thing is gonna explode. There's gonna be toothpaste everywhere. Squeeze. Oh, oh, oh! We got some toothpaste. Okay, I squeezed. Wow, it how I convenient! Uh, I'm gonna rinse this toothpaste off here. Oop, I think I have go. an idea. Okay, here we on go. How one more works. try. We're gonna stick this in. I heard something. There we go. We got some toothpaste. Now I have already accidentally put toothpaste inside of the unit and on the back of it. It already has toothpaste in there as well. It's not very clean inside at the moment, but I'm gonna give this one more time. We're gonna rinse, ah, it's water <laughs> everywhere. One more time, clean toothbrush, push it in. Oh yeah, well, there we go. Oops, okay, well, we got some on the, on the top. Uh, and there you go, you have a toothpaste dispenser no need to open the cap of the toothpaste. Uh, it just dispenses it right on to the brush. Now, I would assume it'd be as easy as removing this and sw swapping that out. I wanna see, does this come off of my mirror? That is the question. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Please come off of my mirror. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I may just have this permanently installed now. Uh. <sighs> oh, there it goes. Boy, you must be, that, that mirror must really oh be attached gosh. to the wall. <sighs> okay. I do not want this thing to permanently live there. Oh. Okay, so very difficult to get off. It's definitely stuck on there very, very well. Okay, well that is it. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> So how does it work? You so here's how, how it... I believe that it works, is there's a small reservoir inside. And what was happening, it, what happens is when you depress it, it will squeeze stuff out of that reservoir. And as long as toothpaste is in that reservoir, it will, almost it's like uh, water suction, you know, wa if, it's almost like a hydraulic, where it's like if water can is there, it'll suck more into the reservoir. So that's why, I needed to prep, push, oh, prime it. Yeah. and yeah, I needed to prime the pump, exactly. Um, right. And so once the toothpaste got into that smaller reservoir, then it was just a simple action where when you put the, the toothbrush in, it's you're pressing against this lever, and the lever is squeezing out of the reservoir, and then it refills from the toothpaste. Um, so that's how it works without any batteries or, or anything like that. Um, and so it worked. Uh, there is a ton of these and I cannot find this exact uh, model anymore on Amazon. And, but uh, this is, so this is the one that I found that looks the most similar and it's inexpensive, $7, whole bunch of reviews. Uh, but just searching for toothpaste dispenser, I mean, you got, you got so many options, tons and tons and tons of options. Some of them have, you know, other, uh, <laughs> you know, other uh, th things oh that you put on top. God. It's like a shelf or whatever. Um, so there's lots and lots of, of options for this type of non-battery operated toothpaste dispenser. Um, there you go. <laughs> I'm I'm still it, it I'm positive this is the alien tape type stuff. It was just so difficult to get off of the glass. Um, no, it looks like uh, Scooter X found it. This, maybe it was Alibaba. That's where I got it because this looks exactly like what I got. Oh, it face. does. Oh yes, yes. Uh, here, let's choose black. There's a dollar sixty. Wow. No, that's shipping. Alibaba. Oh, that is shipping. 
five bucks, oh, dollar sixty oh, shipping. Oh wait, that's expensive. Yeah, I'd rather I mean, just you get could it buy on, on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, for seven bucks. Um, I, I just go back up slowly for a minute, and you'll see the one that I bought. Those. Hang on, go down oh, a little. Go down. Yeah, one more down. <laughs> I bought those things, the color things. Oh. You just slide them on the tube. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what I use. Yeah. So uh, either, yeah, either way, like, um, that seems you'd be able to control it <laughs> a lot more. Yeah. This is not. Uh, I don't know. It so doesn't much. seem so hygienic. Yeah, the, I already have lots of toothpaste. Uh, the hole needs to be larger uh, that you stick yes, the yes. Um, yeah, get it out. thing yep. into. Um, but yeah, and then... Go to 3D Doodle. You can make one of those. <laughs> exactly. 3D print it. A 3D uh, print. There you go. There you go. Uh, seems to Rachel. That's great. Um, okay. Yeah, all right. uh, if you need a toothpaste dispenser, it worked. <laughs> The crucial step was squeezing the bottle as I activated the lever for the first time to get that initial, to prime the pump, to get it all um, ready to go. And I just happened to do that naturally. Obviously, the instructions weren't going to help me out. Uh, it uh, uh, was <laughs> pretty poor instructions. So the last of the leftover gadgets, that was a really fun uh, theme. It was super easy for me because... <laughs> I just use yeah, that. Yeah, it's great, great. Laying around. Uh, the patrons will vote on the next theme. So if you're a patron, keep it locked to our uh, update feed. And uh, thanks for being a patron. And with that, let's move on to the warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Okay, so Richard's letter uh, email makes sense. We should uh, show the product he's talking about, okay? And Chad and I did this some time back. We did <laughs> prank packs. And one of the funniest is the bathe and brew. <laughs> So it's a shower head, uh, and directly under it is an electric coffee pot. So it's sort of shower and get electrocuted all at the same I time. I love this. It uses a standard 120-volt outlet. <laughs> I know. I know. Carafe sold separately. Sold separately. Because I, they don't want anything dangerous, I guess. <laughs> right. Um, Couldn't have glass next to your electric kettle. Exactly. Uh, I love the uh, brews so that, one cup per 12 gallons of water. <laughs> like you wouldn't be able oh. to determine exactly how much you did. You just need to take a shower for long enough. That's very um, funny. But you must admit, even though the boxes are expensive, they, they do great artwork. Oh, I it's mean, perfect. I mean, it looks oh, yeah, exactly it, like a real product. It looks exactly. exactly like a real product. Exactly. So now that you understand that, uh, hi, Dick and Chad. In episode 1759, you introduced prank packages. I always have fun with my five sibs on Christmas. You think my sister would be on God? Nope. I had to edit the video because she went on about it for about five minutes. <laughs> Thanks to the idea that makes Christmases fun, she gave me permission to show this part of the video. Okay, here, uh, so it here it is. Is she getting it as a gift? It's a shower head, but it's on a coffee pot. <laughs> and I suppose it, it, it shoots out coffee flavored sure. water. I don't get... know. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Here, here, re open this one up so you can see. So you're supposed to put this in your bathroom? <laughs> guys find the strangest stuff. <laughs> <laughs> huh? So who has that in their house? Nobody. Guys? It's called, it's called um, prank packaging. You got to buy these boxes. Are you kidding? No, they're special. Girl, what is the side down in yellow? Where? Prank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking 
the ends of it. I just thought it was hilarious. Did it's you like, see that? Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, I was like, no, her. <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm not sure what was going to look at in the bathroom. <laughs> Trying to figure out what are we going to do with this? How do I do this politely? <laughs> <laughs> That's very uh, funny. How do I, how do I tell him I like it politely? Or how to use this? Um, and the company, not only is it, not only is that very thing still on Amazon, and Chad and I were talking before the show. I mean, the company is making a killing a because a killing. the empty box is eight bucks. Uh, yes. And this, and the uh, these boxes, you, I mean, they make this box to be as cheap as, I mean, like if you were to buy a product that was in this box, right? The company is trying to find the cheapest way. Those boxes cost cents, like cents. Yeah. Yes. And they are uh, selling it for eight bucks. Yeah. And there is that little, the thing that they pointed out to his sister is that it says right at the edge of the box, this is a prank box. Your real gift is inside. So but funny. that's from 2011, and it's still for sale. Look at the ratings. I know. These are so many ratings. 2,700. <laughs> five stars. Oh, my gosh. I know. I know. Oh, and play have... the video, Chad. To... Oh, gosh. Okay, here. Let's it, it, see. Is it, a, is it a commercial for That would it? be the funniest thing. Wouldn't that oh, be no, the it best? doesn't look like it. Oh. Yeah. It's just okay. a... It's okay, just, okay. Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of their latest is um, the earwax candle candles <laughs> so I mean the labels are great the packaging is great oh my gosh that is so funny uh -huh. the fish whistle the oh the chef band the chef band you can wear all your tools on your head yeah, let's see uh here are the boxes oh my gosh there's oh, so the pasta recycler so many of them holy cow pasta recycler oh so it's a dry <laughs> uh, tidy tips diaper. oh my gosh oh these are that one's sold out um Oh, oh to gosh. frame baby's first diaper. Oh, my yeah. God. Coffee talkies. Oh, my gosh. This is so funny. That's so funny. Toilet tunes. I feel like I actually reviewed this. Like, this was like, this is a real. Oh, it could. Well, you know, no, I think you had the piano you play with. You're right. Feet. I did. I did have the piano, yeah. the toilet piano. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's three pages of this stuff holy cow so smart such a smart product yes exactly exactly so funny it's the things we used to do in mad yeah like like come to life commercialized um so funny anyway uh, oh, well, yeah, Richard, here, their amazon you. kind of has some uh you can see it better the bicycle seat belt <laughs> You know, you got to get that. The fart filter. Plant urinal. Oh, my gosh. This tidy tips is... <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my gosh. It's so Nap funny. Sack. Oh, my gosh. Put a bag over your head in the park. I like the banana for scale. It's very funny. Oh, that's very funny. My, my first, first fire. fire. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Oh, An 18 God. inch fire ring, a 12 inch poker, four insurer logs, and an eight ounce fuel can. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. The baby shield. That is so funny. That is a riot. Oh my God. Uh, th uh, these. Anyway, I could look at these all day. There's, yeah, I just saw an funny. ice cream maker, a hubcap ice cream maker. That was <laughs> the the turn and churn. That is that looks real. This oh, looks that absolutely very... real. That is that so funny. That is a riot. Turn and churn, <laughs> turn and churn travel ice cream maker. That is so funny. Oh, God. Um, okay, uh, that is great. I'm glad that you got that on video. Uh, that is so funny, Richard. 
It's so funny. Um, okay, well, with that, oh, how can people send in their videos? Okay, very good. I'm glad you asked. Uh, make a little video, one to three minutes. Just use horizontal and make sure we can hear you and see the gadget, people in it if you want. If you're shy, you don't have to be in it. Um, and we actually need more videos, okay? Uh, put it up on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. Click Unlisted. Then only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send the URL to us, mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv uh, if we show your video and you live in the US and most of Canada you'll get the current issue of MAD and like I said we need more videos and you have like 8 days <laughs> get one in especially if you haven't sent one in before it's so easy to do and our favorite kind of videos is when you have an old gadget especially an old tech gadget uh, that you can't throw out because when you bought it, it was high tech. We love those videos. Okay. Uh, make a video, get it into us. Do it today. Today. Or this week. Or soon. Or tomorrow. But before next week's show. Yes. With that, let's go on to the letter. Our letter is from Steve C., who writes, um, this is about the tiny dog pool video. Oh, you know, I thought this was his video. It looks like something he found on Facebook. Dickie D., the company selling the tiny dog pool must be the same one that made your tiny <laughs> mat. Yoga mat. And he's talking yoga mat. He, <laughs> there was a yoga mat. And it showed a big, thick mat, but little didn't little show anybody mat. in it. Yes. And the it came, yoga mat. Yeah. It was like this big. <laughs> yes, exactly. The yoga mat was eight inches by 12 <laughs> inches. Uh, so he said, this looks like the same company. And I guess he found this um, little video on Facebook. Or maybe he knows this person. Um, here it is. So my mom texted me asking if we wanted one of these pools for our dog. She was at. <laughs> Lidl and she found one for thirteen dollars and said they retail for fifty off of Amazon. So we're like, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Um, I, <laughs> I I didn't pay that close attention to the dimensions apparently. <laughs> hey, well, at least the dog is using it. Sorry, uh, Turbo. Yes. <laughs> He's, he, the, the dog looks embarrassed, however. Yes. It's like the dog, the dog goes, said, please. Don't you, can you get a bigger pool, please. like sigh? Yeah. But please. that's very look, funny. Look at Steve that dog. <laughs> Steve C., I am amazed that the dog is sitting in it. It's great. <laughs> it's the great. dog that they show in that image is a uh, border collie, isn't it? That's a, not a small dog. No, that no, that is a big dog. If they showed a that chihuahua, a, maybe. Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. That is so funny. That is very funny. Thanks, Steve, uh, for that. Um, big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for your support. We really appreciate it. We want to take time in every episode to just say thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank yes. Thank you so much for your support. And if uh, you're someone who likes the Gizwiz, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. There you'll be supporting every time we make a show. That is how you support on Patreon. We also have a PayPal link on our website, gizwiz.tv, if you would like to give that way. Uh, just head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, at the top of the website, and then there will be a PayPal link right there on the website. Thank you to everybody who gives to the show via Patreon or via PayPal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live. We are live right now on there. We're on a Wednesday, but we're typically live on a Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time. That's where you can watch us live. When we are live, the website updates with the live stream and the chat room just below it. So uh, join the chat room, watch the live stream, 
uh, whenever we're live. If there is a change to the schedule, it'll be up at the top of the website, so you can find that there. If you missed the live show, well, we have it all there on our website, gizwiz.tv. We have all the old episodes, or you can head on over to our YouTube page, or you can check us out on Apple Podcasts, or we have an RSS feed if you want to use your own pod catcher. Um, head on over to gizwiz.biz. How much time do we got on... Um, what the heck is it? We got one well, more month? Well, one more month. It's We're halfway September, October through. October game. Yeah, what halfway through. What the heck through. is it? Uh, but gizwiz.biz is where you can find articles and links and photos about all of the gadgets that we cover here on the show. So check out gizwiz.biz if you need to know more information about any of the gadgets that we cover. While you're there, you can play What the Heck Is It? This is the what the heck is it? This is an entire gadget, not just a piece or a part of a gadget. Uh, and this is actually, I saw this one earlier and uh, I do have to spoil it. Uh, this is um, my first, um, I don't know. Uh, this is my first <laughs> flashlight for children. This is the, uh, okay. my first, okay. you know, it's nice and rounded for the kids' hands, and I just got a little flashlight thing at the front. I just saw that just earlier, so that's definitely what that is without any sarcasm at all in my voice. But if you think you know what it is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Six men, Mac. Oh, yeah. They are playing for... December Mad. Can you go Ooh. back to that shot? The special. This, yes. December Mad is uh, about 80% all new material. The first time in a couple of years that we're writing new stuff. And it's celebrating the 70th year wow. of Mad Publishing. <sighs> That's exciting. Yeah. They went back to so the that, old logo, even. Look at that. Yes, yes, wow. absolutely. Get absolutely. That logo they made in LA out of here. Uh, we like the original. <laughs> right. That's and uh, I love Alfred's. Uh, Alfred's now 70 and his teeth still has <laughs> one tooth missing. Even his false tooth has uh, a tooth missing. That's funny. And that is very So that's funny. what you'll be playing for. That's a good one. Signed by you, also. Yes, yes, yes. That's uh, that's important. That's awesome. Six Mad Magazines for correct answers. Twelve Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. Get creative over at gizwiz.biz. This is one you definitely want to be playing for. That is awesome. Uh, that about wraps it up for our show. We will see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>